Hello everybody and welcome to the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus. Um, I'm trying to make these. I'm trying to make these uh, game changes a little bit smoother for us. I'm just putting some uh, stream markers on and stuff like that to make this a lot easier. Because obviously, I do the stream. I do stream these stuff. If you're watching on YouTube, then um, I do actually stream uh, stream these particular um, playthroughs of things. So this is our second Binding of Isaac Afterbirth uh, Plus run. Y yesterday's run, well, last run went really well. Um, we we did really really good. I'm gonna stick with Isaac, I think here. Or should we should we, should we maybe change things up? Maybe go with maybe go with Zazel, maybe. Yeah, let's go with Zazel. Let's let's let's, uh, let's switch things up a little bit. All right. So if you've never played Zazel before, then he has a he has flying by, uh, to begin with, and he has a br small range brimstone, which is. His shot here. I believe this being an okay item. I believe it just like. Yeah, I think it just like stops damage. Essentially like a blank. Oh wow, it was bad damage. The only difference between a normal run and this monster, uh, this, this guy, obviously, is the fact that we start with black carts as opposed to. Um, as opposed to normal hearts, normal red hearts. So, we have to be careful. Because we can easily lose a run by getting hit. I'm drowsy. We didn't get any bombs either. He was a very, very easy boss to begin with. Evil plus range plus shot speed up. That's not bad at all. Um, any increase to our range is, is very useful. I'm not sure whether range actually does work with this particular brimstone. The only the only way, to, I think, to get rid of the range uh, problem with the brimstone is actually to find brimstone in a, in a, in, in a run of Azazel, I believe. I'm not 100% sure. I could be wrong there. Um, the matchstick tastes like burning. I've forgotten how. I forgot what the matchstick does. I think I'm going to stick with it though. Uh, we haven't got any bombs yet. We've been quite unlucky with the, with the consumables so far. Uh, we could always destroy these and see if we get any coins or anything like that. We did get one. I mean, Azazel is usually quite a quick character, so. I don't feel too worried about getting to the uh, the boss room. I nearly, nearly went for the for the chest, thinking that unbreakable Nord Leaf. I I have forgotten what that item does. We got a HP up though, which is really useful. We got a bomb as well. We could open this chest and see what happens. Wow. I didn't realise that happened. Wait, what? That's what Unbreakable does. Right, okay, so whenever you stand still, you, I believe, turn into... You, you, you basically turn invincible, I believe. This is a really small area to fight Monstro. There we go. We did it. We're okay. Shot speed plus damage up. Plus also a black heart as well. That's decent. Two babies. Uh, I'm definitely going to be taking Rotten Baby. That's for sure. Um, will this take the black hearts off us as well? Or will this just take off the one blue? Let's try it. It took, it took the... Okay, so it took the Black Hearts Office as well. Uh, 
We've got another bomb as well, which is really useful. We could really do with a key right now. Ready for uh, ready for our main room, our, our main gold room. Ah, we got two. We got two keys. The RNG God spoke to me. Fantastic. Yeah, Rotten Baby is a really, really good, like, probably, like, top tier baby. Like, one of, one of the best, definitely. Oh, damn it, he spawned a fly right in front of my face. I mean, at least he killed everybody in the room, I suppose. In the process. And we can fly, so we can actually get all of these coins. So I'll tell you something I wouldn't mind doing on the stream at some point. I mean, I have no idea whether it's going to turn out and be something that I'm going to do. But when I do eventually get my capture card, uh, my new graphics card, I would like to go back to Halo 5 and make some more maps. Now, I know that sounds really odd why I go back to a game that no one ever really plays anymore. Um... Not that I'm digging. Not, I'm not that's a dig for uh, Halo Five. I, I absolutely love it personally, but uh, I know a lot of people don't play it. What what I mean is, um, like essentially, what I want to do is get better at, at forging. And obviously, the forge in Halo Infinite is going to be different, but it's still going to have a lot of, you know, a lot of the stuff that was in the old forge in the new one. So, because there's one thing that I did struggle with with Halo 5, and that was making a map that... So, in the in Halo 5, there was a massive difference compared to... Um, compared to, let's say, let's say Halo 3, for instance. So, Halo 3's Forge, you just built a map that, that played well, right? Um, you didn't really care too much about the looks that much, because there, there wasn't really that many items that you could really transform a map and make into you know make into this fantastic looking thing guppy's collar is a good item here uh guppy's paw as well these are all great items and i really want to take them but they're all just i'm definitely taking the pact it's too risky to take the rest i'm afraid um, but yeah, so I'd like to I'd like to go on Halo 5 Forge and, le and learn a lot more with the Halo 5 Forge so that when we do get to Halo 6, uh, we can rather A, recreate the maps that we made or we could just do essentially better maps in the future. There's a map that I definitely want to go back to. And definitely finish because I really... Like, there's so many good forges out there these days. This run's going okay. We got the, the, the packs obviously give us more damage as well, which is awesome. Oh, there is actually a tinted rock there. Nearly, nearly missed it. Okay, let's see now. Hopefully we'll find our gold room soon. Or item room. Whatever you want to call it. It doesn't necessarily matter what you call it, as long as you understand what I mean. I keep on getting a lot of uh, useless... Consumables. I got a lot of bombs saying that actually. That oh, key, fantastic. Amnesia. 
Uh, out of these two items, I will definitely be taking the Dead Eye. Because we will always be accurate with our weapon. Always. Because we always have to get close to do, to do damage anyway. Essentially, if you don't know what if you don't know, don't know what that weapon do, uh, that particular item does, essentially all it does is you gain power every single time you hit an enemy. So, actually, I'm not sure would that would that actual item synergize well with this brimstone. I'm just thinking now whether it would actually do it. I got hit there by one of the easiest monsters. In <laughs> in the game. Seems to synergize. We got a HP up, which gives us uh, more HP, which is what we really, really do need right now. <clears throat> you know what? I'm going to do it. Easy enemies to begin with there. Nice. Uh, this is one of those games that I have to sit. I have to sit forward for. I really get into a lot of Isaac. I, like, I love Isaac. Isaac is just a game that I really cannot help but just get stuck into. You know, one of my top played games. This game is definitely. Uh, I might actually take this because I've not been using that other consume that other uh, active item anyway. It's just been going to waste essentially. Bomb. I, I like the look of my Azazel right now as well. He looks pretty cool. Um, and I think that's everything in that room. Absolutely blitzing through these through these uh, floors now. Oh, that wasn't what that wasn't the room. Okay. Oh, that was close. He nearly had me. Some really basic enemies. 404. I've forgotten what that trinket does. And I don't I don't believe it being very good either. Wow, I was lucky. Yes, yeah, so I've got tons of stuff planned content wise that I'd really like to do. Um hmm. I'll definitely take the heart. Hmm. Never mind. Didn't really get anything that particularly great from that. Other than a heart, which is, I suppose, decent. Back to our item room again. Uh, out of these two active items... In my personal opinion, definitely the uh, the skizzers is definitely the uh, the best one to go for here. <laughs> Mainly because it just does so stupidly, stupidly silly damage. Wow! Apparently, I'm uh, that that by the way was actually totally my fault. That was just just pure. Horrible damage that I should not have been taking. Is there not a demon room that just opened? I don't think there is. I suppose down to the next floor then. Yeah, the um, this gives is a ridiculously good item, in my opinion, anyway. Another room cleared. Now this 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 is turning out to be quite a good run. Other than the fact that I'm dealing 
getting stupid damage. But that's something that I can definitely do better if I just focus. That went well. Bad gas, pretty useless. I'm not even going to open that if they're the shop because I haven't got enough money anyway. Another key. We're not far away from mum uh, from mum already, and I'll come back for that in a minute. Uh, what should we go for here? I wonder how this would synergize. That's amazing. I'm very, very, very glad that we just picked this word, this item up. I mean, you don't really have to do that much thinking with this now. It's just insane. This is a, a really good run so far. Some monstros in a small room. Well, not that small. This ain't too bad. I think we started off this run obviously with some really like terrible luck when it comes to consumables. I'm going to try the curse room here. Oh, and it's, it paid off like crazy. Guppy's head, by the way, guys, is such a good item. And I will definitely take Guppy's head over the... Uh, so he lost the heart there because of that, but I reckon that was definitely worth it. We need one more guppy item now, and we will actually, I believe, become... No, actually, no. Did we pick up the... Yeah, we've got, we've got two guppy items. So we literally just need one more guppy item now, and we are guppy himself. But I believe there's not really much left. we got two more wombs fights, and obviously the heart, after killing Mum. Um, and then that's it. That went really well. We'll go to our demon room first and have a look what's in here. Uh, both really bad items, actually. I think I'm definitely going to do the, the boss room here. At the chance of just unlocking some new stuff. Holy mantle. Yes, please. In fact, I'm not even gonna do the uh, shall I do the boss foot? Nah. Maybe not. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna call it I'm gonna make it safe. I'm gonna use the full card here and get out of there. But at least that gave me the chance of getting holy holy mantle, which is just a great pickup. We've essentially run we've we've essentially won this run, I I believe. Right, down to the womb. Azazel definitely always sets you up for a really good run. Uh, people are always like, you know, that Azazel is like the the easy mode of, of Isaac. And I can see why. Um, he's definitely very, very good. Yeah, this, this, wow. Monstro's Lung has seriously made this a really, oh, Steve, Steven as well. This is a ridiculous run. Steven is just essentially just gives us more, um, more damage. I don't know why I did that then. I'm pretty sure I looked at it and thought that it was a, a rock and it actually wasn't. See, Holy Mantle saved us there. We didn't actually get any damage taken off us at all. Oh, 
Oh, nothing this time. You gonna uh, you gonna you gonna close back up for me? I believe they close up straight away. You got four keys. Oh, it just disappeared. Go in here for the chance at another guppy. Why not? Uh, we didn't get anything good. Oh, just thought we can go into sacrifice rooms now without any issue because um, we have holy mantle. Completely empty room. Um, now, obviously, if you've never played this game before, uh, you don't get item rooms on the womb floor. That was some dumbass damage from me. Straight down to the final floor of the, of the womb. I reckon we're just, just about done with this run, really. Wow, that was actually three really successful. Should we actually play this? We might get a chance at something. Who knows? A fly. Not a reason why I'm doing this, by the way. It's just in case I might unlock something. I don't usually play these. Since I got the look up, I've gotten really bad luck. It's really weird, actually. Got five more times to play it. Ooh, we got a we got a. Uh, I forgot what they're called now. Range up as well. Okay, well, I mean, that was successful, actually. Another HP up here. Explosive diarrhea, useless. And range down. So we just got a range up and then got a range down instantly. Very typical. It's a very typical thing for Isaac. <laughs> It's like, oh, I've gotten better. Oh, I've gotten worse. Ooh, a pentagram is uh, always a good, always a good item. And we got it for free, essentially, as well. Holy mantle is just one of the best items in the game by far. Yeah, you know, sometimes you take some really silly damage on occasion. It does happen. You know, we're all human beings. Um, and, yeah. Holy Mantle is crazy. So this is the last boss. Uh, well, the last boss of this of what we've got unlocked anyway for now. So this will essentially give us the, the game win. And we are absolutely destroying him. Well, her, her heart, should I say. Um, will that even do anything for us? Um, I think we could have actually gone down to another floor, actually. I don't, I don't know why I didn't do that. I thought if we hit the chest, then it would actually possibly allow us to go down to the chest. Which is another area. I think we've just unlocked Eden. Yep, there we go. We've unlocked Eden. 
So for those of you watching on YouTube, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you again next time.